So you want to be a pilot? You're going to have to study integrals, differentials and parabolic equations. Of course not. Let me show you what you really need to look into before starting your journey into the world of aviation. There is a worldwide misbelief that to become a pilot, you need to be a master of maths and physics. This is simply not true. I'm going to show you what you really need to know. Firstly, let's talk a little bit about unit conversions. As pilots, we are going to be operating aircraft from many different parts of the world. These different parts of the world often use different units. We need to be able to confidently convert between these. Here we see the fuel cap of our American-made Cessna 172. And here we see the fuel cap of our European-made Tecnum 2002. Those with sharp eyes will notice that the American-made Cessna lists its fuel capacity only in US gallons, whereas the Technum's fuel cap lists its fuel capacity in both US gallons and litres, which are much nicer to work with, by the way. We need to be able to confidently convert between these two units. A quick example for you. Here at our base at Madrid Cuatro Vientos Airport, our refuelers work in litres. If we are flying one of our American Cessnas, and we need 50 US gallons of fuel, we need to be able to convert this into litres, the language of our refuelers, to ensure that we receive the correct amount of fuel. Pilots must also be able to work out speed, distance, time problems. We need to be able to take two of these values and use them to produce a third. Using this triangle, we can generate three formulae. Speed equals distance divided by time, distance equals speed multiplied by time, and time equals distance divided by speed. Let's try using one of these formulae. An example of this. If we want to fly between Madrid and Barcelona, a distance of approximately 300 nautical miles, and we fly at 100 nautical miles per hour, or knots, this journey will take us approximately three hours. These tasks will become a daily part of your life as a pilot, so make sure you get used to them. But don't worry, we have a lot of time to practice. It is crucial for pilots to be constantly aware of where they are with respect to their surroundings. This is known as situational awareness. Let's talk about this a little bit. If we are in an aircraft flying through this valley, with the higher terrain on our left, in which direction are we flying? In this direction or in this direction? Exactly, in this direction. And if you got that wrong, you can never be a pilot. Joking, of course, you've got lots of time to practice this skill. Along your journey to become a pilot, your level of English is going to rise like a cumulonimbus on a summer's day. But do not worry, we do not expect that your English will be perfect before joining. You just need to be able to follow classes and be willing to learn. Some cool communications as pilots often use would be cleared for takeoff, cleared to land, and cleared touch and go. Your personal fitness is also an important factor in becoming a pilot. You need to be able to pass what's called a medical this will include tests on such things as your sight, hearing, psychological attributes, and overall physical condition. You need to perform well in this, as it is crucial to get your pilot's license. However, don't worry, it's not as stringent as you may think. This video has highlighted a few of the important factors you need to consider before taking off into your world of aviation. I hope this has been helpful and we hope to see you in the sky soon.